Hi guys, welcome back. So, this week's uh, hobby updates. I've uh, not managed to get any more done on the Keeper, but hopefully with the long weekend, I'm going to get some more work done on that um, Sunday morning and Monday, hopefully. I'm also going to see if I can get these guys finished off. So, let's see where we're at, because we've got some more work done on them. Uh, we'll pick this one up. So, on this, as you can see, the cloaks had a bit of colour put on. Could have been done better, like that, but that was put on with a test of the Syish Contrast Purple. New um, contrast paint I had a go at trying out. I should have mixed it with a bit of medium, but hindsight is 2020. I'm going to go in and fill the uh, inlay in with gold, I think. Uh, what else has been done? What else has been done as well is I've gone and done the eyes. Now these are a lot bigger than ones I've done before and I wanted that milky cataract kind of look. So the way I achieved that is I painted it with glacier blue, just game colour. And then I went over it with a mixture of flow improver and the Payne's grey. Mix them together. And then that kind of really dulled it down. So what I did then is mixed both the glacier blue, blue that was still on my palette and the Payne's grey until I got a colour that I was happy with and just put it on the centre of the eye and just swirled it out until just the eye covered. So the recesses, if we can get it on here, as you see, the recess is still pretty dark. That's that. So the steeds now, because they've had that and the eyes done, uh, with the exception of the gems, which I'll probably do last. So I just go and do a bit of work, and I can't bother to do that. Re-go over it if uh, the silver goes on. I'm ready for all the metal work, so that's going to be quite fun with them. And then we're on to the riders now. What should we do? I've got the riders to this stage, which is everything except metals and things that I need to do for metals and black and all that jazz. So what happens now is I go over everything that's essentially white and all of the blue and the, which was done with Drakenhof Nightshade and the brown that was done with the black leather from Scale Colour with a mixture of Contrast Medium and the Black Templar. Um, more, I'd say two thirds medium to one third black templar. I, I just want to stain it down, and everything that's white that goes black is either going to be is going to be done in metals. So I'm not fussed about that coverage. The only exception to that is the bow. So as you can see, fortunately my paint went a little heavy and the lighting wasn't ideal. So it's gone a little dark in some places, but that is what the bows will end up looking like. And then the outside I'm going to do with metal, so it'll be black look on the inside. I thought it might be a black bone, black wood, maybe something like that. Um, the robes were done with, or the veil, I'm not sure what you'd call it, was done with the same Saish purple. Saish purple. Um, oh, it's a little bit missed there. We can sort that in a sec. So that was done with the slash purple, and then the pink was done with the same Magos purple that I've used on a fair bit of other things. So hopefully, once all the metals are done, which is going to be another little project for this weekend, I'm going to be able to I'll be able to say all of these are done. Okay, just let that dry. Not much to it. Yeah, I've even gone in. Uh, let's see if we can pick a decent model for it. I've gone in and attempted to just put some black on the eyes. Now I'm actually fairly happy because I'm quite a proponent of at that scale from the other side of the tablet. You're not, you can't see the white of the eye, especially on say these ones, where the black is tiny. Gonna stay. No. It's not even like zooming in on. 
So one option I've got is get some titanium white ink, really thin it down with a flow improver, and just dab it onto the eye, and hopefully it will it will pull into the each corner of the eye, and it will make it appear as if the eyeball's white. Not sure how that's going to go, but we'll see. What I have done as well is I've prepped a couple of the steeds have little scarification things. I'm not sure what you call them, like here. So I'm going to go in with some Blood for the Blood God to make it glistening red. I think that should look quite nice. But yeah, we're getting really close to these being done. So this was a monthly challenge for a slow grow that me and my friends are doing. And I was going to do a unit of 10 Bliss Barb Seekers. Turns out in a month I've not been able to do that. This is where I've got up to from scratch. So... Next month's challenge for the slow grow is I'm going to try and get more realistic. We're just going to finish these off and hopefully that will get done. And then I'm going to build 10, 10 15 more of these, well, slick blade see seekers, the close combat version for a unit of 10 and a unit of 5. Um, and that is the entire challenge is just build those 15, finish these. If I start being able to paint them, I'm going to go ahead and start painting them, but I've got a few other things that I want to test out, some experimenting. I want to test my Chimera colours. I've also got a limited palette challenge that we're doing. So we can pick uh, three primary colours. So either we're going to go with standard primary colours or we're going to go with the Cyan Magenta primary colour wheel. Uh, black white and that is all you're allowed to use it can be inks it can be contrast paints it can be whatever but you're only allowed those three primary colors and then from that you've got to mix all your different shades up if you want and if you want to do metals it's going to be non-metallic metal so you're not allowed to use any true me uh, metallics so i've got a few ideas what i want to do i'm very tempted by doing uh grayscale work and then applying glazes over the top um, if you're interested in that look at Marco's video from Not Just Mecca and he does a couple of, I want to say confrontation it's not going to be confrontation a couple of miniatures and he does that so he, he sprays them all in black and then they brushes a mixture of white and black ink which I've never done before but he's really smooth so I'm going to definitely have to have a go at that anyway that's this week's video guys, thank you very much well guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. Also be sure to check out our Facebook page, at Wolfing Studios, the link's in the description. As always, thanks for stopping by, catch you next time.